Good morning everybody and welcome to the video. As you may or may not know, I have a lot of contents on AWS, essentially Lambda, SQS, SNS, Athena, Glue and much much more. And at the same time, I, I love and enjoy reading and learning especially. This morning I stumbled upon a beautiful article that is essentially querying nested JSON data in Amazon Athena. Um, many of time data is not structured, right? Data presents in its raw format and you might want to just query the data from the raw format for exploratory purposes to essentially understand what tables do you need, what sort of uh, view do you need and stuff like that. So let me show you how to essentially query nested JSON data for your exploratory purposes uh, using Amazon Athena. Uh, once again, thank you to the author John and Mariano because of authors like these who write stuff people can learn and, 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 and you know share with other people, right? So thank you so much guys uh, for publishing this beautiful article. Let's get started into uh, the exercise, right? I'm excited. First thing I wanna show you is this is how the JSON looks like. We have a key called symbol. And then we have an array called financial and here we have nested objects. Say I want to query this data without performing any ETL and just for exploratory purposes, right? So how do I do that? So the first thing that we need to do, and I'll try my best to go slow, okay? And I'll try also to put this side by side so you guys can uh, see both of them. So first what we need to do is we need to create um, essentially a table. So here, if you observe, uh, not the best way to do this, but yeah, hopefully this is visible. And I'll try to use a magnifier if the fonts are a little less. So here I'm saying create external table financial draw, which means I'm saying create a table called financial draw. I'm defining now the structure. And again, I'm gonna show you the both the approaches, right? So here I'm saying symbol as string and then financial is an array, right? So now I'm gonna zoom out because financial is an array, right? So financial is an array, right? Then I'm saying it's an array of documents, right? It's a JSON, so in, hence I say here, it's a struct, right? And then inside the struct, I have all these fields. So I'm saying that report, open, high, low, last, close, and volume. And essentially I'm defining the data type. Now this is important. The format is essentially json dot json d whatever you wanna call it. <laughs> but yeah, that, that, that is the format, okay? So once you do that, what this will do is this will create a uh, Athena uh, Athena table called financial draw. Now I want to show you how you can query this data as well. So I just want to do a preview table for you. Uh, so this is how the data looks like, right? You have a top level key again, this one, and then the uh, nested object comes out this way, right? Not that helpful, right? But now see what happens, right? Since uh, let me go back. Since you defined this as JSON survey, right, in the format, now that is amazing. You know what you could do? Uh, now check this out, let me show you. So now I could query this data using a simple, um, you know, I can say, so if I wanna put this side by side, I can say, give me symbol. Now give me uh, the report date, so it is financial. It's the first item in the array, so one, and then the report date, right? So as you can see, financial one, report date, financial one, open, financial one, close, and so on, right? So now, without even performing any sort of ETL, I'm able to query my uh, nested objects, right? So if I run this query, again, uh, if, you, if I can show you, right? I was able to bring that data, or I was able to query the data, right? Now I can say, I could do an aggregation, I could do a filter query, I could do a group by query, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is um, basically out of the box, right? Basically, all I had to do is I had to define, this as JSON survey, JSON right? The format, whatever you wanna call <laughs> again. But uh, once you do that, now I can query my nested objects like, like a charm, like a, like a champion, right? This is one, 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 one way. Now, the author also says a second way. Remember here, you had to define the schema, right? What if I don't wanna define schema? What if uh, I want, so, 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 so the author also explains here, in the second phase, here, in the second part, the author says, if I, I'm gonna put it side by side again, uh, hopefully you guys can see, right? So the second part, author says that, you know what, I'm not gonna define this as an object. I'm gonna define this as a string. This entire stuff, I'm gonna define this as a string as well. So as you can see, now we are creating a new table called financial raw JSON, right? Again, I have ran it, the table is already there. Now let me show you how the table looks like. So if I do a simple uh, limit query, and here, same thing, it looks like that, right? But look what advantage this brings to you, right? Now, how do you, how, how can you query this, right? So let me pull up that query, if I can find one. Uh, where did that go? <laughs> Hold on, yeah, this one. 
So here you can use a basically a function called JSON extract scalar. You provide uh, the array. So here I want to pass, I'm passing the financial and then I'm giving the path for that element. So I'm saying dollar zero means the first element in the array. This is the first item dollar zero reported dollar zero open dollar zero high. And now if I run this query again, I can query this data, uh, you know, same way, right? So both the approaches that I showed you, right? In the first approach, we defined the schema. In the second approach, we did not define the schema. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of doing that? Author essentially has laid out beautiful uh, table, which I will try to uh, read here. So table uh, creation time, data structure, interpretation, query time, uh, query time, data structure, interpretation. Again, he has given, but I'll read a couple of them that I loved it. So if you define the schema, right, production data pipeline benefits from this approach, right? Exploratory data analysis benefits from this approach because you're, you're evolving, you're, there's no schema, you're evolving your queries, right? So that's that. The interpretation of data structure is scoped uh, to the whole table. All subsequent queries use the same structure. The data interpretation is scoped to individual queries. Each query can potentially interpret the data differently. Very amazing. The interpretation of data structure evolves centrally. The interpretation of data structures can be changed um, on per query basis that different queries can evolve with different speed and into different directions, right? So amazing, uh, you know, uh, distinguish the, he has given uh, versus A versus B, right? Both works the same, right? If you have unstructured data, uh, if you wanna query the unstructured data without performing ETL, this is, I, I guess, one of the very good articles that I would recommend. I'll leave this article in the description section below as well. I encourage, um, you know, data engineers and all the people who are working with Athena, come and check this out. There is one more way called Unnest. I, I do not like this approach. It's too tedious. Uh, I personally like the first method because it's uh, much more intuitive, right? Because uh, I liked um, not this one. I like this one because this is much more intuitive. I, I select dollar, you know, and I don't have to define a schema. So I personally prefer this, uh, the second approach. I hope this video is useful and uh, essentially, uh, sorry, I hope this video was useful and it did give you some insights on uh, how to query nested JSON objects using Amazon Athena without any ETL, right? And uh, then if you are sure, you can essentially load and partition your data using Amazon Athena CTAS. Uh, if you have an ability to delete, update, or if you want to do stuff like that, you can also create an iceberg table on Amazon Athena. Thank you so much for watching. I'll leave all the resources in the description. With that being said, keep smiling, keep learning. Knowledge is power. I'll see you guys next time.